Staying creative and curious while balancing demands from lab and tutoring and extracurriculars is hard. I get questions from subscribers all the time about how I balance all of these things and how I stay inspired and motivated to pursue my goals. So today, in collaboration with Mark KGAA Darmstadt Germany's hashtag always curious campaign, I'm going to talk about two of the ways that I try and keep myself feeling inspired and curious and creative. First, by allowing myself to create brain space for curiosity and problem solving, and second, by adding creative content into my life. Let's talk first about what I call brain space. Sometimes when I get caught up on a tough problem and I'm overwhelmed by tasks and deadlines and looming things, I find it really easy for myself to fall into this pattern of just doing an easy or obvious thing over and over and over and over without really thinking about why I'm doing it. I made a whole video about this a couple years ago about trying to balance thinking and doing in my life. And since then, I've made a conscious effort to try and cultivate this brain space for curiosity and creativity. This often involves physically removing myself from whatever situation or problem is tripping me up. Even if it's only for a 10 minute walk, stepping away from the computer or the pipette forces me to stop thinking about the problem in the screen or in the lab because the screen and the lab aren't there anymore and to start to think about it from other angles. I often find that if I've been struggling to come up with a new way to tackle a problem in lab, I'll figure out a new solution on the bike ride home when I've removed myself from the space and I'm thinking clearly, rather than when I'm in lab staring at the same stack of notes for hours. Exercise is another way that I try and create space for my brain to think or not. Sometimes if I've been really, really stuck on a problem, I will go to an exercise class that will force me to not think about anything other than the exercise that I am doing at that moment forcing my brain to drop the problem and then be able to come back to it fresh an hour later. Other times I'll go for a hike or a run, giving my mind time to think without the confines of a computer screen or a lab notebook, and allowing myself to experience nature and to be curious about the natural world around me. Lately, brain space for me has also meant trying to limit screen time on my phone, because when I do have those moments of brain space, it is so easy to pick up my phone and just start scrolling through apps and allow my phone to fill that space rather than my own thoughts. Instead, I've been trying really hard not to whip out my phone in those spare odd moments when I'm standing in line or waiting somewhere, and rather to just let myself sit and think and to allow my brain to fill those spaces instead of my phone. When I do that, I'm forced to be more creative and curious, and lately that's meant thinking about not just science, but also about video making in ways that I can be more creative visually in this space and try and mix things up. This one is hard, it really is, but I feel so much better after five minutes of thinking than I do after five minutes of scrolling. The other way that I've been trying to stay inspired and curious is to add creative content into my life. It's really easy to fall into periods where I'm just thinking about my thesis, and sometimes that is necessary, but it's also really good for me to still add other things into my life. I still need to be a human. My thesis is focused on a really specific topic, and reading books or listening to podcasts or looking at art that doesn't focus on my very specific topic is super helpful in getting my brain to think about problems from new angles and be creative in problem solving. Be that problem a task in lab, a section I need to write for my thesis, or a new way to edit a video. Maybe the storytelling in a podcast that I'm listening to encourages me to rewrite the paper that I'm working on into more of a narrative, or perhaps a piece of art that I'm looking at inspires me to edit a video in a new way. All of these things help me to break up the everyday patterns that I fall into and keep things fresh. This combination of creative content and space in my brain for it to roll around and percolate helps me to be more inquisitive and curious and inspired in my everyday life, and also more creative in how I'm solving problems. And that idea of creativity and problem solving is in fact one of the curious elements in Merck KGAA's Curiosity Campaign, which explores not only how we use curiosity in our daily lives, but also how we're all envisioning our futures and how creativity and technology play into them. You can in fact share your own vision of the future in the links down below. 
So thank you so much to Merck KGAA Darmstadt, Germany for sponsoring this video. This video and the next one that I'm gonna make with them are in fact ideas that have been rolling around in my brain for a while and that I've been thinking about a lot as my time in lab is ending and I'm wrapping up my PhD, but that I haven't had a reason to really share with the world yet. So thank you to them for sponsoring this and giving me a reason to share this with all of you. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any tricks for staying curious and creative in your own daily lives. I think being more curious and being more creative are things that I strive towards all the time. And so if you got tips, let me know. And maybe the next time that you are stuck on a hard problem, you will think about giving yourself some brain space uh, to let your brain think about it or adding in some creative content to think about attacking it from new angles. And as always, remember to go forth and do science. <laughs>